Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4! And in this episode of our season with Stuart Friesen's number 52 Hallmark Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 15, which is the Eldora Dirt Derby. This is the third time that we're doing this in a NASCAR Heat game, and in the first two times, I finished second place in NASCAR Heat 2. Uh, ben Rhodes knocked me out of the way with a few laps to go. And then the second time, the other safe flight truck, NASCAR Heat 2, Noah Gragson, he kind of knocked me out of the way with a few laps to go. But he didn't win the race, that was Johnny Sauter because lap traffic came in. But I was able to get back around for Noah Gragson. So, second place, both times we've been here. Maybe this time Harrison Burton driving the safe flight truck will come knock me out of the way. Safe flight, repair, safe flight, replace. And then, last episode was at Pocono. And we finished second place. I ran out of talent in the last couple of corners. And then I ran out of talent at Kentucky, too. So that's, that's two chokes in a row. How about this time we go winning at Eldora, finally. And then actually winning a race this season. It'll be our sixth win this season before we get into the playoffs. Clarification. Is this track actually shaped like this? Because the freaking backstretch is not straight. It's like all curvy. And then it just kind of swoops back down. I mean, of course, I can make the backstretch whatever the hell I want to. That was the weirdest move I've ever seen from this truck in this entire game yet. Like, it was turning, and then it just... It just I don't know. Seventh place, that's going to be on the inside. Except there's probably somebody in front of me that gets into the back. Probably Tyler Nipple. Or Tyler Ankrum. Or Tyler... I don't know, what's another Tyler in NASCAR? We've got Brett Mouth on the pole and Matt Crafton on the outside of him. I like both those guys. Austin Hill, who's been a silent creeper towards the um, the playoffs. I think he's probably making the playoffs just on points. I don't, he hasn't won anything. He's got like one playoff point from winning a stage or something a while back. So, let me guess. Nope, no one in front of us got to the back. So, I am stupid. I'm full of crap. Uh, I just put on the default setup. It's not on the loose or the tie. It's just right there in the middle. And I was like half a second off of the the top qualifying time, but truth be told, that's where we are every race we go to, so I guess we've got some good balance going to this race. There's not supposed to be any tire wear because it's a dirt race, but I mean, NASCAR Heat 3 for a while, there was tire wear at uh, Eldora specifically, which, I don't, that was weird. But they eventually fixed that bug before the uh, Core League went in there, and Core League, they had their little exhibition race, and that was fun. Uh, what if racing won $150? Grand Finger looks a bit slow. Christian Eckes wasn't as fast as expected. And then talking about Brett Moff being on the pole. Christian Eckes. Christian Eckes. Ookie Dookies. Christian. Christian Dookies. Uh, Ookie Googies. Christian Eckes. That, that's how I've been told his name is said. I just refuse to actually say it like that. Wow, they, they go sideways. They all go sideways in the corner, and I, I'm hitting the nipple. But they all they all go sideways in the corner, and I mean, I don't have to do that. I can just turn it like a regular turn like any other track, so that's interesting. So they got the AI taking the turns the way they should, but then you, you still kind of take it all straight and weird. So you put on a really loose setup, and it, it does look like the way it's supposed to. Okay, so Todd Gillen on the move. And I ain't even more aggressive. Look at Todd Gill just knocking Johnny Sauter out of the way. Well, thank you. I'll take that one from him as well. Uh, I'm just roughing up the nipple. I'm doing all kinds of things in the nipple tonight. <laughs> I, 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 I just said that. Um, I just said that. So the first stage is four laps and I'm trying to break a really good turn here and actually gain ground instead of losing it like I have in the first couple of laps. I'm going to get past Todd Gillen and my man Matt Crafton. And a little Matt Crafton's trying to make a cross. So we're at three wide coming off of turn two. Holy crud. Uh, but we're clearing him going into three. I'm trying to get that proper dive in the middle of the corner. Keep P3. I am going to just say P3. I was trying to say third. I couldn't remember what position it was in, so I had to think about it. So, in order to compensate for my stupidity, I said P3. I'm smart. P3. Oh, uh, yeah. Third place at the end of the first stage. So we're still going to be on the inside whenever we start off the next one. Yeah, there's no pit stops. Now, can we win the second stage of the race? Um, remember, I was just watching, actually, the uh, NASCAR Heat 3 race at Eldora because I couldn't remember what the hell happened whenever we came here. But Johnny Sauter just freaking took off, and I was in fourth place after the first stage. So this time we did better in the first stage than we did in the last 
time we came to this track. But the second one, Johnny Sauter just freaking took off and won it. And this time it's Brett Moffat instead. But it looks like I've got the lead. And I think I'm going to win the second stage. It was actually two laps more than the first one was. This is, um... That right there is very depressing. I I mean, for a truck series driver like Travis Quapple, whose name I've known for 10 years, it, I, just passing him, him being in last place, me, the leader, that, that... Man, that's, um... That, that's frustrating, because... I like Travis Waffle, but yeah, we just freaking dominated the second stage, and this sun will stop shining on my face. I moved forward after doing the intro so that the sun would not be in my face. Now I'm moving backwards, and I can't get it out of my face, and I, whatever. We're going to start off the final stage of the race in the lead, and going with, with how the second stage went, I'm guessing we're just going to dominate this whole race, and no one is going to stop us from winning this thing. Because, I mean, the tires are still wearing. We're down to 99%, realistically. I mean, we should be taking some kind of tire wear, but yes, um... Eldora does not pose a single slight threat this year, for whatever reason. Okay, Spotter, you don't have to acknowledge the pace car every single time I go into turn one. Well, I mean, that wouldn't happen if Natalie Decker's line wasn't so bullcrap. Not to be confused with her hairline, but her, her driving line is retarded. And Josh Riome over here is being stupid, taking, making passes, trying to prevent me from getting anywhere. I'm just going to lose this race because these lap trucks. Nally Decker just deciding to commit to the outside line whenever I'm on the outside, and they're all on the inside. I'm giving them the, the benefit of the inside line when they're going a lap down, but no, she does that. Freaking Josh Riome, I do He's just trying to pass me back. But, um, yeah, I mean, you saw that clip a while ago. Freaking spotter, three laps in a row. I'm going to turn one. He's acknowledging the pace cars there for whatever reason. But, yeah, uh, sixth win of the season. I mean, yeah, I wanted to win an outdoor. I didn't want it to be that easy. I don't feel like doing a burnout. Yay, confetti, fireworks, uh, guy with uh, pajamas that are fireproof. Trophy that is very generic. I've been wanting to win at this race, this track, for, for three games, and I finally did it, and they made it as easy as possible whenever it was difficult in the first two games. I, I, I am so frustrated. Well, let's get out of here, take a look at the race results. Tyler Nipple finished in second place. Corbett Forrester finished in third. That is amazing. Harrison Burton, the guy I was talking about, he, I mean, he started next to me at the final restart, but that was the last I saw of him. Brett Moffitt, he won the first stage, and then I got the second stage win. Brett Moffat finished in 10th. Uh, Matt Crafton, who started in 2nd, finished in 6th place. Uh, Mayan Snyder finished 11th, so that was really good. By the way, he did start uh, decently in this race. I noticed that much. And then we got the rest of the results. And yeah, I lapped a few trucks up to 24th. Uh, breaking Benjamin. Well, daggum, I got my 6th win of the season, and Brett Moffat is still the points leader, even though he only has 2 wins. He's, he's just been very consistent. I've been a little consistent. I get so many top 5s, a few top 10s, and then I... I didn't get a top 10 in the Daytona race, the first race of the season, but that's been the only race where I didn't get a top 10. And then second place, second place, first place, first place, second place, just all kinds of crap like that. Hmm. Well, we probably will have the points lead in the next race because next up is the Corrigan Oil 200 at Michigan Speedway, and we have a winning history there at NASCAR Heat 2 and NASCAR Heat 3, though I can't just assume that it's going to be like that in this game. I, I do want Michigan to be challenging at some point in the NASCAR Heat series. It's just been such a full throttle track, and it's definitely going to be a full throttle track in the truck series of all places. So, it should be, hopefully it's full throttle for the other trucks too. I'm going to find out whenever we get to that one in the next episode. See you next time, that's that, and episode over.